The view from above is breathtaking, but Rio de Janeiro's iconic Guanabara Bay is one of the most polluted bodies of water in the world. The bay has long been a dumping ground for garbage, toxic chemicals and sewage, but marine biologist Ricardo Gomes has made an extraordinary discovery, the existence of a wide variety of stringrays. It is surprising to know that despite all the population, despite living in a city with around 10 million people, we still have this biodiversity, and that inspires us to keep on fighting for the protection of marine life. Gomez revealed the existence of the colony in his acclaimed Urban Bay documentary. It includes the giant spotted eagle ray that can have a wingspan of more than three meters. He also founded an NGO, the Urban Sea Institute, to document the threats to the riches of Guanabara Bay and its resilient marine life. Our goal is to show people the beauty and the importance of marine life, which, if you know, produces 70% of the oxygen we breathe, and to make them aware that the lungs of the planet are not just in the Amazon rainforest, but in the ocean's plants. His work includes the lectures and workshops that he gives for both adults and children, explaining the crucial role the so-called blue ecosystems play for the future of mankind. And the person responsible for Ricardo Gomez's transformation into a full-time ocean advocate is his five-year-old daughter Nina and her generation. They are the ones, he says, who deserve to grow up on a healthier planet. Nina seems inclined to follow her father's footsteps. She regularly collects plastic waste from the beach and knows the harm it can cause. We were picking up plastic and we saw a turtle turned upside down with a plastic bag in her mouth and we had to take her to an animal rescue center. Gomez wants his documentaries to inspire people to clean up the ocean. For his own inspiration, he quotes a French oceanographer Jacques Cousteau, who said, people protect what they love, they love what they understand, and they understand what they're taught. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.